I wanted to um, say a few disclaimers about my mukmang video about the comment that I made about how I want the guy to pay. Bum. I have a lot of groceries to do to us all. Healthy food and exercise equals healthy and happy person. It, we could do another little food haul, university food haul. So let's see, I have I bought three bagfuls of stuff. It's called a curry mixture because most curries have carrots, onions, and potatoes. But I just bought it because I wanted to use these ingredients. Two bags of edamame, tofu, of course, tofu has been a staple lately. Canned tomatoes, some new facial stuff so that my skin gets better. Konyaku, ito konyaku, aka zero calorie noodles. Almond milk. The reason why I bought this one is because it was pretty expensive, but literally the only ingredient that's inside that they use to make this almond milk is almonds. So if I try it and I like it, I'm planning to make my own almond milk. They're not cracked. Eggs, spinach, mushroom, the thing, the Japanese thing that we don't know the name of. Natto, aka my to go protein. Doesn't mean because I'm doing a mukbang today. Avocado. Bananas. So I'm gonna go put all of these back. It was so heavy. Oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't look that much, but so as an Asian, of course, I have a rice cooker at home, and apparently, you could make sweet potatoes in a rice cooker. The direction says two sweet potatoes, but I only have one, so a half cup of water for two sweet potatoes. So I'm only gonna put like a little over a quarter, and some salt, and that's all you need, apparently. And then now we're just gonna cook it in our rice cooker and let's see how it turns out okay you guys i promise that it's going to be my last cooking video in a long time but today we are going to make a stir fry a tofu stir fry to go with the potatoes basically add the tofu and the spinach Now that our stir fry is done, let's check up on the potato. Oh, that's so soft, guys. Oh my god. I can't wait to eat this. Oh my gosh. And then for healthy fats, I added some walnuts. Oh my gosh. So happy that I have a rice cooker. Mm. I promise you guys. I won't make any more cooking videos if you guys are sick of keep seeing food in my videos but I feel like lately that's like all I've been filming mainly because other than cooking I'm just studying for the most part so yeah I, I've actually been invited to a couple college parties um it would be a really good opportunity to meet people 
and stuff like that but i was wondering like am i missing out by not meeting people because meeting people is really important in life you know um i would love to meet new people you know but then i realized that i could always do that next semester and this semester i really just wanted to focus on my weight loss and because of that i decided to just focus on myself just hanging out with the people i used to hang out with last semester and other than that i should be studying anyway you know i never really took education seriously so this time i really want to try my best and especially because i actually enjoy all the classes i'm taking yeah mm. <laughs> oh my god guys I pulled an all-nighter but that was really good because I wasn't that tired and instead of watching YouTube videos, I actually ed finished editing two videos, uploaded one and will upload one tonight. And I also finished one of my homework assignments, so I only have two more. I think I'm gonna take like a two hour nap and then get going with the day, guys. Because I love a lot of days and I don't want to go to class a lot of days. So, good morning. You guys, I am so sleepy. Every time I'm tired, my eyes become weird like this eye. Like it like becomes really sleepy. Anyway, make up jump. One, two. <laughs> Good morning guys. So without further ado, after this, after I read you all the quote of the day, I actually have to go to classes because I have more a morning class on Monday and Wednesday. So without further ado, let's read the quote of the day. Today's quote says Life is not about wanting for a storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. <laughs> I really like this quote because I feel like I could really relate to it. <clears throat> and it really shows how strong your mindset can change a situation by the way before i head off i wanted to um say a few disclaimers about my vi mukmung video about the comment that i made about how i want the guy to pay for my ideal date so um i i didn't mean every single day i want the guy to pay the reason why i kind of wanted the guy to pay on my ideal date was because normally we would split the bill right like in all of my relationship we split the bill most of the time and a lot of times most of the time actually actually every single time all three times the guy was just only a student and i was the one that was always being a student and part-time working at the same time juggling i guess my um prior relationships all of them were more like privileged i guess so they didn't really have to work but because of that they were living off their parents money so i felt like i had to spend more money than them into the relationship and at that time i didn't mind at all like you know i i was the one that had more money so why not spend more money on the relationship right but the reason why i said i would want the guy to pay for my ideal date is because i feel like it might only feel like because i and the one that was you know i i guess both sides of the relationship might feel this way but i felt i felt personally that throughout my relationships i put more money and effort into my relationship so i thought like you know for my ideal date it would be nice for the guy to actually you know make it the effort and pay for it i don't know i just thought it would be sweet but even if he did it i wouldn't mind at all of course guys that's not what i meant like that i want the guy to pay every single time you know so yeah just wanted to get that clear out of the air Oh, another thing that I want to get clear in the air towards the end of that mukbang I talked about how um, I told my friend to c talk to the guy about how she's feeling and if he doesn't um, if he isn't considered to her feelings break up with him well there's a lot more detail in the middle guys I just like shortened the answer but leading up to this incident he's also been telling her that like he doesn't see them getting married and like there were just like a lot of red flags and like I don't know this isn't the first time my friend came to me and being upset about this guy so yeah looking at her situations that's that's what i ended up telling her and this was actually the first time i told her that she should consider breaking up with him whereas in the past whenever she came up to me i tried to like i don't know be more understanding because no one wants to hear that right because they're in the relationship because they love each other so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know because yeah actually now that i look back to it because my answers were short so short i felt like a little bit misunderstood and like a little bit shallow so yeah just wanted to let you guys know and now i shall go to class talk to you guys later everybody hey guys class just ended and this is like a sneak peek of all the classrooms this floor is just all classrooms guys and it's like 6 15 I really want something sweet. I think I'm gonna buy something naughty today. 
I decided to be good, but I went very generous with the walnuts. Hmm. 